Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas. Now today we're gonna to be talking about how you can ditch those repetitive workflows that you use inside of Figma and instead use AI to help you out. So for example, let's say that you have a Figma file over here and let's say that you're a designer for Airbnb and you're trying to improve the overall um, experience in when it comes to the reviews of a specific listing page and you wanna add more things, you wanna add more filters, you wanna add you know, different types of filters. You want to do like a little bit of exploration also using your specific UI kit, right? You want to use your, you know, your review cards or your different toggles and so on and so forth. But instead of having to manually duplicate the section, remove the auto layout, move things around, bring in different types of components from your, from your UI kit, you can use AI to do that, to do that exploration for you. So for example here, this is the standard Airbnb review card where you have the name, you have the stars, one week ago, stayed a few nights, then you have this, and then you have the ability to show more, and then it basically collapses and you see the whole the whole review. But when you go to like a direct competitor like booking.com, there's a few, it's a little bit more sophisticated, right? You have, you know, the name of the person, you have their location, and you have the type of room that they stayed in, you have the the date where they were when they reviewed this particular room. They have the positives and they also have the negatives. So overall, it's like a much more detailed, sophisticated review. And then you can use AI to combine those two styles to maintain that Airbnb look that's very clean, but also add in this new booking.com sophistication when it comes to like, as you can see over here, one week ago, stayed a few nights, and then you have the positives and the negatives. And this was just done by combining a few different things that I'm gonna show you in this video, but all using AI. And before we dive into it, I'd love to invite you guys to my Discord community where a bunch of different startup founders, designers, developers from all around the world. And we get together every single weekday to talk about different tools, different topics, different challenges that are happening in our lives. So if you guys are interested in joining these calls, link to that Discord community is down in the description below. So yeah, guys, we're in this imaginary world where we are part of the Airbnb UX design team, and we need to come up with a way to improve the review system in the listing pages for the different uh, properties for the different uh, places that people stay at. So for example, I have, this is my Figma file and these are the different things. So this is like one card over here. I can double click and I have this Airbnb um, comment, basically it's called, or in the UI kit, we have this one called review and it's basically like the review one over here. You can just change the image. It's very, very simple. And in this case, I'm gonna be using Magic Path dot AI for the actual exploration. So this is gonna be, I'm gonna add in the existing components. I'm gonna add the inspiration images to combine with the existing components. And it all starts off here, right? So you can bring in your stuff via Figma and I have actually a YouTube video. I'll link it down in the description below that kind of teaches you how to bring stuff in from Figma or you can use the Chrome extension. So for example, this is Airbnb, their site is live. I can choose the Magic Path Chrome extension and select one of these, right? I can select one of these cards, go like that. It's gonna convert the, the, the code of the website. It's gonna analyze the code. You can copy the component, and then you can go back into Magic Path and paste in the component like this, and it's gonna start building. Now, one tip that I would definitely give you guys is that when you paste it in, you wanna choose the Gemini 3 Pro because the Gemini 3 Pro is the best AI model inside of Magic Path. It does take a little bit longer to generate the component, but all in all, it's like the best, the best model for design. But anyways, once it's done, you're gonna have something like this, right? You have the exact same image, name, location, everything, all the fonts exactly the same as in the real website. And you can start bringing in the other sections as well. Let's say this one as well, we can just copy this, select the element and, you know, copy this entire um, page, this entire section up here, or this entire section over here, or just one of these. And so for example, now I have these two sections inside of Magic Path. And I can put this one below and I can put this one on top and I can eventually ask it to, you know, combine the components so that all the code is in one place in one little frame. But we're gonna do that now. I'm gonna first show you how you can combine other sections from other websites. So if we go back into booking.com, we can get you know, an image like this and go like this, boom, and go back into Magic Path and paste the image simply on the infinite canvas like this. We can resize it if we wanted to or not, it's up to you. 
And basically what you can do is you can ask Magic Path to style the image or the, this, the section based on this. So I, I can just duplicate this by clicking on Command D, bring this to the bottom, bring this as well to the bottom. I'm gonna rename this to something else so it's not screenshot. I'm gonna rename it to, I'm gonna put booking comment. I can say redesign the UX of the review card to match the same as at booking comment. You wanna put the at sign and then type in booking comment, but do not change the design or theme. So we can go ahead and submit. And again, I wanna just choose Gemini 3 Pro over here. And then we basically get a variant like this where we have the same name, same image, um, very different structure because it now looks like this one, right? Where we have two different types of reviews, one positive, one negative. We even have this star over here on the side or this rating on the side and it gave us a black one. We can change it to the color of Airbnb. So if we go back to, you know, Figma and we look for that hex code, we can go over here, click on this, click on edit and go over here and change this to that new hex code, which would be this. Click on save and as you can see now it has like more of like an Airbnb look just because we added that primary color and you can keep on using that edit tool to make a different variant so for example something like this which is more minimal as you can see just the name this very brief just like the original one um, but now we have this on the side with some image references or some image examples of of that person's stay and what's cool is that you can use this you can click on this and you can say create variants and when i click on create variants we can create different types of variants and kind of do a mood board with the ai so for example, I can click on different layout or different style. Let's do different layouts, experiment with different mobile layouts maybe, and click on submit. And then we can start sizing these to be mobile fit. And then we can kind of zoom in a little bit. And as you can see, we get different types of variants for the mobile view. So we have something like this, maybe the, you know, you can we can fix a few things like maybe the spacing over here. So if I were to just click on this, we can adjust like the gap over here. We can adjust this to maybe be, you know, somehow like this maybe and adjust the width to maybe be fit container so there's a few things that we can do we can end up fixing here and when you're done with that just you want to click on save and then for the other variant we get something a little bit different we get like these drop downs over here where you can basically just toggle them and click like that we have like these different images over here that we can kind of explore kind of like a slideshow and you can go on and on with the different variants and let's say that you're back in the actual original listing page and you want to improve the filtering system of the of the of the comments or the of the reviews right you want to add different filters over here well you can go back into your airbnb figma site or figma project and look for like different drop downs for example we go over here to drop down and we can easily bring these into magic path we can either take a screenshot as a reference or we can go into dev mode and kind of look at the code and look at the layout of the code and give this as an extra reference. And once we have that inside of Magic Path, we have something like this, where we have right now the most relevant. If I click on this, we have like this little drop down and you can use this. You can basically create a copy of this and make it for only languages or make this only for specific seasons, right? Spring, summer, autumn, winter. And then what you can do is you can combine them into one component and then add them in here all with that at symbol reference in the chat so you end up getting something like this and you can keep on exploring with different types of filtering systems so for example you can even add one over here so select topics to read reviews you can choose for example pool or beach or shuttle and then all of these different uh this this feed basically gets uh, it gets filtered by this specific keyword and the same thing with other sections right you can get something like this with you know the overall rating so for example if we go back here and we click on this we get this overall rating but what if we don't want the progress bars to be just up here we want them to be for every single category right so we can get this with the chrome extension bring it back into magic path and bring it over here and duplicate it and just say that right we want these progress bars to be for every you know category right and then we get something like this so this is like a great way to kind of explore different styles with AI and also using your UI kit so you don't want to have something completely new. And at the end, you can just grab this and you have your code. You have your code base. You can download your code base and pass it on to your developers. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, please feel free to write, write them down in the comments below or just reach out to me via Discord. Again, thanks so much. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.